Still, I mean, it's the perception of it. You, you've got China that's partially halted Japanese food shipments. Hong Kong and Macau say they would ban aquatic products from 10 Japanese regions. So there's probably some geopolitics going on there between China and Japan. But e even South Korea, um, there's this panic buying of salt going on at the moment because people are worried about contamination in, in their salt. But from what you're saying, it's all, I guess, overreaction. Uh, definitely. Look, uh, those countries released tritium into the sea already. And um, I think one of the biggest issues that we have is that we've, um, we, we have really dropped the ball, you know, uh, my colleagues, myself, on educating the public on radiation risk. And uh, most of our, our, our public awareness comes from, you know, TV shows like The Simpsons and, and other, you know, TV shows. And we really need to do a better job of educating members of the public on, on radiation and radiation risk. When it comes down to it, though, what other option does Japan have? Um, well, so this is the big question. And, um, you know, we have put forward a proposal, uh, you know, the potential to make concrete out of the tritiated water. And so you can bind that tritium up into concrete. But there's, there's issues and regulations around making consumer products from radioactive waste. So that's not easy uh, to, to, to get past. And then, you know, but, you know, this, this could be something that all the nuclear facilities around the world can look to into the future to determine whether there is an alternative pathway for tritium. Tony Hooker, really appreciate you coming on the program. Good to chat. No worries. Thank you very much for having me on. Thank you.